Now Chris will take us on a tour of the functions and features of the toolbars and apps on your LG Create board. Take it away, Chris. Now that we are looking at our Create board, let's take a look at some of our, our key features and settings before we dive into the apps. So up top we have our clock and we can set our date and time from our settings. It's automatically set right now. We have our Wi-Fi functionality. We can connect to networks. Ethernet, if we are plugged in, we can actually plug in directly to the back of the device. We have our sound amplification. We have our, our screen brightness. And then we have the ability to switch to other devices. So I could switch to my PC on the other side. Okay, or as you saw, back to Android, which we're looking at HDMI. If I have a Windows laptop or an iMacBook connected, I could do HDMI, Type C, VGA. Okay. Up top, we have the Create Board Share Activator. That's what I'm going to call it. I think it's great. Uh, create Board Share allows us to share what's on our Create Board directly with our students and their devices. So if they have a Chromebook or they have a laptop or they have iPads, we can push what's on the device here to their devices. We have an entire module dedicated to the Create Board Share to teach you how to use it and look at some of the functions. So we encourage you to look at that. I won't dive too much into this, but this is what it would look like. And that's a screen broadcast, so I can broadcast to other screens. Students can also share to my screen onto the Create Board if I give them permission. And I can actually have up to uh, nine devices pushing to my board at any given time. What I like about that is students can visually display their work. We could do a gallery walk together. There's lots of great creative uses for uh, students projecting their devices to the board. Uh, if students do have a device, uh, a phone, can actually grant them the ability to control uh, certain aspects, share movies to it, and so forth. So be sure to check out that module for everything. On our board, we have two sides of the board. We have a little dock here, and that's available on either side of the board. And we will unpack the dock section by section as we go throughout our discovery and our learning right now. Okay, let's take a look at the center section of apps here. So the center section of apps are, have been added over here. You'll see them there. And let's first take a look at them sequentially. So we have our Cloud Drive. And so we have Cloud Drive, which is uh, Google's uh, Google Drive on the cloud, or we can add OneDrive directly to our cloud drive. So this allows us to do a couple of things. One is to access files and images that are on uh, in our cloud drive, or to save files to it as we work and create images and recordings uh, directly from our devices. So we also have a browser built in, and the browser I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to minimize this really quick. So we can hide it, or we can go small, go mini size. We'll go mini size right now. OK. With the browser, we have the ability to pull up a browser and go full screen, access the web, or we can go half screen and actually have multiple applications open at any given time. So as you can see here, I have Starship, Mission to Mars, and maybe I want to pull up one of our other apps, the Note app. And so the Note app allows me to take notes directly on the board. And so I can be playing a video with my students and taking notes as we go. After we're done with the notes, I could actually save them. 
save it to cloud storage. Okay. And I'm going to cancel that. Um, I can also change a number of features. I won't go into all the features within notes because we actually cover this uh, in a separate module and lesson, but know that the notes are here and this is a great way to take notes as we are uh, looking at content in our classroom. Let's close that out. Okay, working through the rest of our apps, we have our Keeper, which allows us, if your system was somehow bogging down a little bit on this Android side, can actually free up, clear up the garbage, the junk files. Uh, we have our settings. Let's walk through all of the settings. We saw our wireless and our, saw our wireless, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, um, Bluetooth. So if you're going to connect devices to it, you can do that there. You have input outputs, so we have the ability to add speakers, Bluetooth speakers, or uh, wired speakers directly to the device. We have our application management, which is on the Android side, and it's going to load. And so we have all sorts of applications we can add. I would say that adding applications to the Android side is probably not something I'd recommend. Um, I would use what's built in, uh, but know that you can. And then we can change the system settings. We can set a lock screen password. Okay, confirm that password. It's real secure. <laughs> and close that out. Uh, then let's see what else we have here. We have our switch to PC. So I could one click switch to the PC, switch to the other side. Yes, I do. That pulls up our PC side, switch back. Uh, we have, again, we have our LG Create Board Chair. We can launch it from there, or we can launch it from an app. Then we have a few other apps. We have the Office Suite, which is not Office 365, but it does allow you to open uh, Microsoft Word files, Excel files, PowerPoint files, as well as PDFs. And so, it's built into uh, the device here. Um, again, you can open, you could save files from your cloud storage and actually open them directly uh, in the Office Suite um, as a quick and easy uh, tool if you don't have that on your own device. Um, or you could, again, switch to the PC side and use the PC mode. Or uh, if you're connected to a Windows notebook, or you're connected to a MacBook or some other device, Chromebook, then you could use that. Then we have the great feature. I love this feature. Actually, I'm going to save this best feature for last. I'll look at the palette. The palette is basically a drawing tool, and we can use it to draw on our board. We can change the settings and colors. And we can then save these files, share these files. We can do all sorts of things, but it's a basically a whiteboard tablet. Um, I think it replicates some of the functions we get in Note, but it's a little bit different. Let's close that. And then the say, I said I saved the best of these apps for last. Let's take a look at Picture in Picture. And so Picture in Picture actually pulls over the Windows side, or if you have, sorry, the PC side, or if you have a HDMI device connected, uh, you could switch to that or a VGA device. And then if I click the touch functionality, I can actually navigate the PC side from within the Windows site. Look at that. I don't want any sound. Okay. So I can do that. Maybe I pull it half and half. And similar to what I showed before, I could bring up a note. And then we could take notes side by side. So I can be looking at something on the PC side, taking notes on this side. 
So it allows me to access all sorts of content and um, apps that I may have uh, loaded on a Windows device or a Mac device um, and be able to put them side by side. Great tool, great functionality, great feature. It's a number of tools on our Create Board, and I think these are some of the most useful tools in our classroom as we're doing things. So we have, obviously, we have stopwatches. Stopwatches, very useful, very quick, built in. <clears throat> we have our timer, set that three minute timer, students get to work. As soon as that timer's done, we're going to split off into collaborative groups and work together. Okay. We have a spotlight tool. And so the spotlight tool allows us to free up distraction on the screen. And so I could free up distraction to look at text, a math problem, a video, or something else that I want my students to focus on. We have the capture tool. So let's take a look at that, what that looks like. We bring up picture in picture. And maybe we scroll the screen. I say, let's find something really great here. Look at that, isn't that a neat image? Okay, then let's capture that and I can capture a region of the screen. Or the whole screen if I needed to. Save. Okay. Open. And then I can send it to my cloud drive. Or I could save it into my storage. I can also capture, let's try to do, let's do the same thing, insert it into a note. And once it opens in note, I can crop my image. Round it, could do all sorts of things. Okay. And then I have it on my board and I can draw and do anything I want with my note tool. Okay. Then I have uh, our freeze tool, which allows us to zoom in. And so let's take a look at zooming. So I can pull that up and zoom. Okay. Take a look at anything on our screen. Uh, then I also have our writing tool, which is a writing overlay. And that allows me to mark up anything on the board. So anything I have on the board, I'm doing picture in picture right now, but anything that I want to draw on, take notes, this allows me to do that. I can actually then save what I just did and it moves it directly into Finder. Great function, great tool. And then I can also share it directly on the screen. Students can scan that, or I can save it directly to my Google Cloud or my OneNote or OneDrive and be good to go. Okay. So that is uh, the majority of the tools. Uh, the last couple of ones I would show are the screen lock. If I press screen lock, it's going to freeze my screen and I'll have to unlock it with a password. Okay. And then the last is, and you can see it happening here in the bottom uh, right hand corner is the recorder. So I'm actually recording the screen right now as part of this training video. So this is recording everything that's happening on our board. And so I can screen record, uh, save those files uh, into my Google drive or my OneDrive. Um, and then share them with my students, whether it's Google Classroom or Schoology or Canvas or any platform that you use. So students can um, revisit information that you shared and discussed as part of your lesson that day. And that is our LG Create Board uh, overview. 
We hope you found this introduction really valuable. And you can see all these great tools that are built directly in to the device. Uh, will really help you support your classroom and designing a more student-centered, human-centered classroom experience for your students.